why am I getting two different answers for the same equation? Okay, let's have a look. Right here we are solving x cubed minus 4x is equal to 0, and this is what you did. We add the 4x to both sides and get x cubed is equal to 4x. And we have x on both sides, so we are going to divide it by x, which is the same as multiply both sides by 1 over x. x cubed divided by x, we get x squared. 4x divided by x, the x cancel, we just get 4. x squared is equal to 4, we can just take the square roots on both sides and cancel this, put a plus or minus, x is equal to plus or minus 2. I'll tell you this is almost correct. We're just missing one number, and that's the number 0. Right here, the major issue is that when you have x on both sides, be really careful. Do not divide it by x. Now just say, can't divide by x. Because in this case here, x happens to be 0, being a solution to the original equation. Because if you look at this, 0 cubed is equal to 4 times 0. 0 is equal to 0. 0 is a solution. Let me just note. x is equal to 0 is a solution. However, since we divide both sides by x, we missed it. So in this case, if you just do this, x becomes x is equal to 0 becomes a missing solution, which is not good. So be extra careful with that. Now, if you look at this approach, x cubed minus 4x is equal to 0. Try to factor it. We factor out the x. So we get x times x squared minus 4. It's equal to 0. Now, this right here is a difference of two squares. So we can factor it again. Look at this as x squared minus 4 is the same as 2 squared. And then use the formula, we get x minus 2 times x plus 2. Now, on the left hand side, we have x times x minus 2 times x plus 2, and they, that's equal to 0. That means x, the first factor, it's equal to 0, or the second factor, it's equal to 0, or the third factor, it's equal to 0, by the zero product property. This right here is done. x is by itself, being a number, we are done. This right here, add 2 to both sides, x is equal to 2. This right here, subtract 2 to both sides, x is equal to negative 2. So we have three answers here. So as you can see, this right here was missing from the original, so be careful. So, does this mean that you can never divide it by x? It really depends on the situation. Mm, if you know x is not equal to 0, then you can divide it by it. Okay, but I will just tell you, be careful, do not divide anything with variables. Usually that's a good idea. And just to be super safe, try to factor it. And this is also how you can see why this quadratic part, the x squared minus 4, gives us two solutions. Because sometimes it might be puzzling why when we take the square roots on both sides, we have to put a plus or minus. Well, because of factoring. Yeah. But hopefully this right here helps. That's it.